guys, so today I'm going to demonstrate on how to make Play-Doh. It's homemade and it's made out of products that you would have in your house all the time unless you're running low. It's easy to make, it's fun, and it's a really cool thing for kids to play with and it'll keep them entertained for hours. So I have all my supplies laid out. Um, I like to lay them out first because it makes the whole process run more smoothly and it just keeps everything organized. So what you're going to need is you're going to need three-fourths cup of water, which I have measured out in my measuring cup, one tablespoon of oil, six tablespoons of salt, and three-fourths cup of flour. And then you're also going to need a spoon, a pan, because you're going to have to throw this on the stove for just a few minutes just to cook it so that it's a different texture. Um, I recommend using a cutting board for when you need the Play-Doh and when you put in the food coloring. And then you're also going to need food coloring. You can pretty much use anything um, around the house that will color it. I buy the assorted food coloring, but you can also use Kool-Aid. And then you're going to probably need a knife um, to cut the Play-Doh because once I knead it and everything, I cut it into different sections for when I dye it. And then disposable gloves, so that way when you put the food coloring in the Play-Doh, it won't get all over your hands. So what you're first going to do is you're going to take your pan and you're going to go ahead and you're going to add in all the ingredients. You just go ahead and mix them, it doesn't matter what order. So usually what I do is I go ahead and I throw in the water, and then the oil, and then you're just going to go ahead and dump in the salt and then dump in the flour. And then what you're going to do is you just go ahead and you're going to want to stir it and give it just make sure everything's mixed around so everything's wet. And then you're going to go ahead and you're just going to throw it on the stove. You're going to want to cook it at a low heat, a low to medium, not too high because it'll burn. And you're going to want to make sure you're just continuously stirring it. It's going to first look like a glue. Once you keep stirring, it'll turn more into a Play-Doh texture. Once you can tell that it's more of a dough, you can go ahead and turn it off. After that, you're going to want to let it sit for a minute, so that way it's not hot. Um, you can take it out and set it on a plate and let it cool, or you can go ahead and leave it cool in the pan. I recommend taking it out because it'll, it'll cool faster. Also, if you're only going to use one color Play-Doh, you can put the dye in there in the pan. But I always do more colors because it does make a lot, so I would recommend just waiting. I already have one pre-made, just so I could go ahead and show you guys the rest of the process because this kind of takes a few minutes to go ahead and cook. So what you're going to do is you're going to have your Play-Doh, and it's just going to look like this, just like a little ball. I recommend taking a little bit of flour and throwing it on here because that way it won't stick. This is a cutting board. So I'm going to go ahead and throw some flour on there. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to take the Play-Doh in your hand and make sure that it's in a ball. You're going to set it down and with the bottom of your palm, you're going to go ahead and you're just going to knead it. Just so that you can make sure that it's all together and it won't break into little pieces when the kids are playing with it. So you're just going to go ahead and knead it for a minute. And what I do is I put this more into like bread or like a cylinder shape so that way I can cut it up. So I just go ahead and I roll it through my hands. And then what you're going to do is once it's rolled like this, this is what it's supposed to look like. You're going to go ahead and you're just going to set it back down on your cutting board. And what I recommend doing is taking your knife and cutting it. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut this one into three sections. So, because um, it kind of makes a lot. So, I do it about this size, just because I think that's a good amount for the kids to play with. Okay, and then after that, you're going to want to flatten it out into a circle. So, you go ahead and flatten out all three of these.
And then after that, what I recommend doing is putting on the gloves, because you're going to have to put the food coloring. And if um, you don't wear gloves, then it'll keep your hands dyed for a couple of days. So I'm going to go ahead and put on my gloves. And it's better to use disposable because you can go ahead and throw them out and you don't have to worry about it getting stained. So, I'm going to go ahead and put these on. And then after that, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your thumb and just put a little circle in the middle of each of these so you can put your dye in the center. And then once you mix it, it'll get through all of them. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do blue. You don't want to put too much, but you want to make sure that there's enough so it will color. Oops. I'm going to go ahead and do yellow. And then lastly, I'll go ahead and do red. So I got my dye, and I'll show you how it's supposed to look. Here's the red. You're just going to want to put a circle, and you're just going to want to put the dye right in the center. Then what you're going to do is you're just going to take it in your hands, and you're just going to go ahead and spin it around. And just keep playing with it and kneading it just until you know that all the dye is through it. And you can go ahead and do that with each color. So next I'm going to go ahead and do green. And if you see that the dye is sticking to your gloves, you might want to have a paper towel to wipe off your hands or a close enough bucket of water just so that way all the colors don't mix. So I'm going to go ahead and do the blue. Lastly, the yellow. So you just go ahead and knead them. And then the color gets all the way through. And little kids love playing with this stuff. And then if you don't want to keep it and you don't want to have it around the house, it's awesome because you can just go ahead and throw them out because this was easy to make. So after that, go ahead and take off your gloves. Um, I would recommend letting them sit for just a minute. So that way, if um, the dye, so you can let it dry, that way when the kids play with it, it's not getting all over their hands. And I have some that I made before. Here's green, and then I also have blue, and I also have red. And these ones I made a couple days ago, and they're still good, which is awesome. So what you also can do is I also have cookie cutters here. Kids love to play with this kind of stuff. They love to make stuff with Play-Doh. This Play-Doh works just like normal Play-Doh you buy at the store. So what I recommend doing to show them too is smashing the Play-Doh. And then I just made a green flower out of it. Now, if they let this sit for a couple of days, it'll dry. And then after it dries, they can go ahead and they can hang it up. You can poke, you can make a hole in it. They can hang it as an ornament. You can leave it around the house. They can keep it. Or if they don't want it, you know, you can just throw it out. But that's also something cool that they can do with it. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.